A major overhaul could soon be coming for school lunches. The hope is to offer our kids healthier meals. Tonight, Eleni Dow's in Queen Creek to give us a look at the proposed changes and when we could see an impact. Changes are coming in this East Mark High lunchroom and many others across the country. It wasn't a surprise to us. We're used to adapting um, to the new recommendations. The USDA is proposing changes to school meals. One big one, reducing sodium. Now they're proposing a 300 milligram decrease, which is a lot. So it puts a lot of pressure on the manufacturers, really to find a way to make sure that the pizza that we're purchasing, our chicken, our pasta, all those things, all those things now meet the new sodium restrictions. The USDA also wants to limit added sugar. Right now, there are no limits, so school districts can put as little or as much as they want. However, eventually, it'll only be about 10% of calories per meal. Limiting sugar means schools may have to change up what they offer for breakfast. Breakfast items such as cereal, muffins, donuts, some of those items that we serve to the kids outside of the savory items will probably, probably be impacted the most. Flavored milk like chocolate and strawberry could also be taken away and replaced with unflavored low-fat or non-fat milk. These are proposed plans that will be rolled out in a phased approach. It's unclear when the plan will be approved, but once it does, it'll start in the fall of 2024 with making sure more whole grains are offered and going all the way until the fall of 2029 and ending with reducing more salt in meals. If the proposed rules that they're putting in place is going to help our students combat obesity rates, diet-related diseases. We're here to help with that. We want the best for our kids. The best foods and ingredients to keep them healthy and learning in school. Thank you so much. Enjoy. In Queen Creek, Eleni Dow, ABC 15, Arizona.